This year at the World Social Forum, I, uh, the talk I gave was called Do Turkeys Enjoy Thanksgiving? And, <laughs> and there's, a, there's a small passage in it which I'll read to you which, which uh, sort of talks about new imperialism. Like old imperialism, new imperialism too relies for its success on a network of agents corrupt local elites who service empire. But unlike in the old days, the new imperialist doesn't need to trudge around the tropics risking malaria or diarrhea or early death. New imperialism can be conducted on email. The vulgar hands-on racism of old imperialism is outdated. The cornerstone of new imperialism is new racism. The tradition of turkey pardoning in the United States is a wonderful allegory for new racism. Every year since 1947, the National Turkey Federation has presented the US president with a turkey for Thanksgiving. Every year, in a show of ceremonial magnanimity, the president spares that particular bird and eats another one. <laughs> After receiving the presidential pardon, the chosen one is sent to Frying Pan Park in Virginia to live out its natural life. The rest of the 50 million turkeys raised for Thanksgiving are slaughtered and eaten on Thanksgiving Day. ConAgra Foods, the company that has won the presidential turkey contract, says that it trains the lucky birds to be sociable, to interact with dignitaries, schoolchildren, and the press. Soon, they'll even speak English. <laughs> That's how new racism in the corporate era works. A few carefully bred turkeys, the local elites of various countries, a community of wealthy immigrants, investment bankers, the occasional Colin Powell or Condoleezza Rice, some singers, some writers like myself, are given absolution and a pass to Frying Pan Park. The remaining millions lose their jobs, are evicted from their homes, have their water and electricity connections cut, and die of AIDS. Basically, they're for the pot. But the fortunate fowls in Frying Pan Park are doing fine. Some of them even work for the IMF and the WTO. So who can accuse these organizations of being anti-Turkey? Some serve as board members on the Turkey Choosing Committee. So who can say that turkeys are against Thanksgiving? They participate in it. Who can say that the poor are anti-corporate globalization? There's a stampede to get into Frying Pan Park. So what if most perish on the way? As a part of the project of new racism, we also have new genocide. New genocide in this new era of economic interdependence can be facilitated by economic sanctions. New genocide means creating conditions that lead to mass death without actually going out and killing people. Dennis Halliday, who was the UN humanitarian coordinator in Iraq between 1997 and 1998, after which he resigned in disgust, used the term genocide to describe the sanctions in Iraq. In Iraq, the sanctions outdid Saddam Hussein's best efforts by claiming more than half a million children's lives. In the new era, apartheid as formal policy is generally considered antiquated and unnecessary. International instruments of trade and finance oversee a complex system of multilateral trade law and financial agreements that keep the poor in their Bantu stands anyway. Its whole purpose is to institutionalize inequity. Why else would it be that the United States taxes a garment made by a Bangladeshi manufacturer 20 times more than it taxes a garment made in the United Kingdom? Why else would it be that countries that now grow 90% of the world's cocoa bean produce only 5% of the world's chocolate? Why else would it be that countries that grow <clears throat> Cocoa bean like the Ivory Coast and Ghana are taxed out of the market if they try and turn it into chocolate. Why else would it be that rich countries that spend 
over a billion dollars a day on subsidies to farmers, demand that poor countries like India withdraw all agricultural subsidies, including subsidized electricity. Why else would it be that after having been plundered by colonizing regimes for more than half a century, former colonies are steeped in debt to those same regimes and repay them some $382 billion a year?